This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Virgo from February 15th to February 28th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got for our Virgo? We start with the King of Cups upright, the Four of Swords upright, and the Ace of Swords upright. It looks like you're going through some profound healing here, Virgo. Like, there's something here that you're remembering. Something that is giving you a lot of strength and healing. We got the Lover's card upright, the King of Pentacles upright, and the Hierophant card upright. Whatever this memory that you're having is, is really having an impact here. It's like this memory is having some sort of conscious awakening inside of you. Something that's healing your heart and allowing you to trust again. And this is attracting a commitment to you. Like this is soulmate energy here. I feel this could be someone from your past. We got the Queen of Cups upright, the Nine of Swords upright, and the Hermit card upright. Yes, this is someone from your past. The Hermit is shining the light on someone from your past that took your love without returning it, left you in a state of despair. Something big is going on here in the next couple. In the extended, we'll look into what is this memory that's having such a profound effect on our Virgo. We'll ask, why didn't the love interest reciprocate their feelings for our Virgo in the past? What is the purpose of this upcoming connection? And we'll ask, what is a message for our Virgo's highest good? The link for the extended is down below. I wish you the best of your choices. Thank you so much for watching. Much love. We got the Two of Cups upright, the Queen of Wands reversed, and the Page of Cups upright. Queen of Wands reversed. Two of Cups. And the Page of Cups. This could be related to some, some sort of mother figure. I feel our Virgo is having some memories related to their mother. Something their mother did created a false way of perceiving the world. Like I'm looking at that fish in the Page of Cups there. It's like the fish is talking and fish don't talk. <laughs> and this makes a lot of sense because sometimes we're attracted to people not because of any particular virtue or moral that they have but because there's something that we need to learn from them. Like they exhibit some sort of trait that our subconscious mind perceives and understands that our conscious mind still hasn't worked out, if that makes sense. So it's like we create these situations with people in order to correct something that was learned in a negative way. So perhaps that's the bit of healing that you needed to overcome and consciously understand before you could attract the soulmate to you. I hope that makes sense. Let's see if I'm right. Why did Virgo's love interest not reciprocate their feelings for our Virgo in the past? <laughs> 